Hi Amanda, I'm Nick Ray Ball. Okay, so from this letter I'm writing to you, a quick summary of eight focus points I'm going to make in this video. I'm going to make it as quick as I possibly can. So here we see the home page and this gives a summary of three books. A general theory of everything, book one, audacious ideas, book two, the ETOE, book three, the GDP game, and there are more books to come. And one can go through here. And it gives a summary of the give pretty good overall overall view of what we're doing. Note this uh, is the book, the second book, the ETOE, which is more specifically for you. There's the graphics to show that it is actually based on M theory, not all the other economic theories of everything, which are just based on what people would want things to be. Okay, so getting to the schedule, summary of M theory, sorry, summary of angel theory. There we go. Uh, number two, audacious ideas. Okay, so at the moment, this is under audacious ideas, older, other, M systems and special projects. We basically here, we're looking at uh, 16 different systems, many of which are based on M theory simulations and some of which are extensions of those uh, simulations. Okay, so it'd be good to have a quick read through this just to understand the basics Okay, there we go. Right, next. Uh, the ETOE. Okay, okay, so this is completely for you. Um, okay, here we go. It's the second menu. And note, the password for this is on your email. Starting off with M theory and the ETOE, which is basically just explaining the idea of simulating parts of M theory into economic rules and one uses those rules regardless of whether the physics is right or not because the rules all seem to work well together and that's probably because um, of the economic compression billions of years of uh, economic compression of mother nature so this is just a brief introduction to chapter one and let's go to chapter two the flap of a butterfly's wing now this is how i got into this in 2011 it was an idea about chaos theory and how to uh, stop the idea of um, rounding numbers being a problem and we can see read it you know it's pretty cool uh it certainly you know it it, it explains where i'm coming from how i got into this and it also can explain to other people how to get into this themselves this book the ETOE is, is, is definitely, I think, for people in business or people in programming or pe anyone that is clever working on this project or, you know, no, clever working on this project. To get them to understand the basics of M theory, they, they, all they've got to do is read through this and some of the other chapters and they'll have a pretty good idea. It has the same effect, though, of now I can you know you can read it through and you'll start to get an idea of the economics uh, and the business because you, you can put it to something you can relate it to if you can relate it to you know and that's you know that that's that's what this this uh, this chapter is about okay next we get into the chapter where you are you know you you and Leonard Suskind with a the focus of this of this chapter still are okay this is uh, the network on a string this actually started with american butterflies this is what i did in 2012 i'll just quickly bring it up this was uh, part three the network on a string this is basically the same thing six years theories and experiments later um we have the suskind boosts we have the GGW string and we have the peak tent. And the idea behind the peak tent is uh, like the baggy pants string Feynman diagram can accept all quantum mechanic results and all general relativity results. The peak tent in our business system, our framework, our economic framework, 
basically can accept figures that are profitable and it can also accept figures that are not profitable. That's, that's it. It's a very, very basic symmetry, uh, simulation rather. Um, but it, you know, it's, 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 it's great. It really, this comes into play so many times throughout this. Okay, and then we've got this, which is Susie hierarchical spin. This is, oh, it's all good stuff, all good stuff, all well worth reading. Here we see the POP cubes, financial dimensions, and angel pop. This is important because this is M system 15. You would have in audacious ideas, M systems and special projects gone from M systems zero to 14. This is M, M system 15 and this one changed everything. And actually it's uh, worth having a look here this is what I did. I wrote to you and I turned it into a book at the end of it, about 30,000 pages long. Um, this, this was all really to try and work out angel theory. So, angel pop. Where is it? Where's it gone? Oh, look at that, it's disappeared. It was in. Where is it? Okay, well, I know where it is. It's in here and it's somewhere near the end. So I'm going to load it again. The network on a string. I'm going to try and find Angel Pop. Here it is Angel Pop. No, it's after. Here it is, Angel Pop. This changed the whole way of looking at what we call grand networks, uh, and it ended up being a much, much, much stronger way. Um, and it's totally phil philanthropic because it's basically saying let's, instead of building and creating things in the richest economies, let's do the exact same thing, but in the poorest economies, because there's more convergence, and we'll get into that. Okay, so here we go, network and a string, definitely worth a look. Um, followed by supercoupling. Now this is, uh, you, you'll, you'll see in that chapter that was for you, where is it gone? POP for Dr. Pete. You'll see a, a lot of efforts to try and work this out and it, it got worked out about half a year later. So here we go. Um, Supercoupling. In fact, what we're going to do is we're just going to ignore all of this and we're going to go to this little bit here, Professor Michael Green, the notion that this is the smallest constituent is paradoxically not at odds with the statement that it might be the whole universe. And I made a little equation and you can see it here and we're going to go to the spreadsheet now. Okay, here is that spreadsheet, M system nine supercoupling. Now, what we've got here is this company here, Villa Secrets, which is a company I've been developing since 2002. And it's got, uh, it's got its own M Systems business plan, which took about a year to write. Uh, that's, that's pretty awesome. And what happens is after the second year of that company uh, opening a new a, a sort of franchise I suppose it makes enough profit in its third year to create two new companies and you can be specific on that it makes where's it gone? it makes one hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars which is enough when split with new investment from people who are going to get in board to make two new companies now the reason for this spreadsheet is to answer this. The notion that this is the smallest constituent is paradoxically not at odds with the statement that it may also be the whole universe. Obviously, we're talking about the strings in string theory here. Um, quite a conundrum, and this is me working it out. Imagine it's a company. This is one company. This is the Villa Secret Secret Company number one. Uh, and this is a very much an active experiment. We're ready to go with this. Um, I just needed to work out the POP. Oh, it's just a bit t anyway, look, first year, it does nothing. It just makes a little bit of profit. 
Second year makes more profit. Third year, it's accrued enough profit to create two new companies. There we've got that too. Okay? That rule applies again. There's only two rules, and that's if POPY1, when we see POPY1, add two new companies Y1 each year. Let me see that that's there. And we can see it again. We've got a POPY1, two. POPY1, two. Okay, so it goes to the second time. And this is the new, and it's got to happen for every company. Okay, so here's the second company created. Well, actually, the second and third, because you see there's two. And again, first year, just a little bit. Second year, saves some more. Third year, it's now in a case so as each company can make two new companies. So we've already got two companies there, so we're making four companies. And you can see it just progresses. It's very, 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 very basic. Uh, oh, look. <laughs> We're looking for a system here and, and, a, and a way for us to... Obviously, this isn't going to work in practice. Some of these companies are going to be making an awful lot more, i.e. this is based on companies in Cape Town. If it was in California, you could put a zero behind it and it could be making 20 new companies every second year. Or it could be in some low some lower star place in Borneo. Where it's not going to make much at all. But we're just setting a precedent here. If, just by using these two rules, we follow it along, and let's see, it just goes along and along and along and along and along. This here is the point where it takes over the economy. It has now. It is now creating seven to 720 trillion, whereas the economy is creating 432 trillion at a growth rate of 3% from 2016 World Bank GDP. And if you miss that one, each year it pretty much doubles. And we can see here, at this point, you know, we're talking, it's never going to get there. The point is, it does get there around this time, and it takes over the economy. You know, complete new economy. Uh, I, when I say economy, I mean the market share of GDP. Um, right, okay, so imagine this. Oh, and of course, now we see how one single company can become the entire economy, and therefore we can translate that back to string theory of how a single string can turn into the entire universe. Okay, so that's, that's, that, that's the symmetry or simulation, um, dying to call it a symmetry, but uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct wording. Um, okay, so now we're looking at a more complex version. In fact, let's just quickly get back to the script. What have we shown? We've just shown this. Ah, okay, before we go and show you the more complex version, let's see what it does that is good. Okay, book free, the GDP game. At the moment, it's only on PDF. Um, let's go back to... Here it is. And I'm just going to show you where it is. GDP game. There we go. Okay, so let's make that a little bit... Now, basically, this is an extension of book one, chapter four, where we list... 16 special projects that are really awesome that we want to be created as a consequence of uh, of creating creating the, creating the businesses creating the network creating this new digital economy um, and you know that's you know it's, it's nice to have a list of goals however this chapter ch chapter number 3 14 ripple effects elephants et al for Paul G. Allen, co-founder of Microsoft, instead of listing the 16 special projects, it has actually increased it to 24, and all of them are created as a consequence of what we call the MZ network, the Malawi and Zimbabwe network. Here we go. Every single one of these projects gets made. Advancing human potential, internet and the training of nations, electricity, 
Malawi doesn't have electricity now it will uh, cities of science infrastructure network cities network cities are awesome uh, in terms of making money special project five equality and this comes in f oh, here's the master dr thomas piketty um, or mr thomas piketty i'm not sure if he's a doctor or not i don't think so not if he's in economics um anyway a whole of chapter uh, book three is based on his book capital in the 21st century that becomes the economic roots um much different types of equality there's the suskine boost there's you equality point four there again financial gravities you see there's so many special projects so many good things get done it, it actually takes an over an hour just to read the summary of all the good things that get done. That's, that's how awesome this is. Okay, so let's see how basically this gets created from a $8 billion investment in Malawi over six years. Sorry, five years. First, yeah, over five years. Now we're going to come to... Back to the spreadsheet and we're gonna have a look here this just quickly tells us what happens between 2018 and 2024 and we're not going to get into that too much we're going to go straight into the math um, in fact hang on let's have a look at this this is right this is important this is s world bonds and tenders this tells us it's basically when most people do business projections they are basing those business projections on an estimated amount of income coming from the public and well coming from anywhere what we're doing here is we're creating networks where a, co a company is guaranteed tenders to a certain amount and it's about 16 million dollars per company that's about how much these uh, these these companies um, receive and you can we can go through this so if I start at it I, I'm just gonna it's you know you, you follow you can follow it through and at the end of the day what we see immediately which is important is the cost of the bond to get into this investment is 10.73 just over 10 million dollars um we'll look at why that figure in a in a little while but for now that's that's the cost of the bond um and pretty much guaranteed that bond is going to be worth 35 million dollars due to this process so it's a good investment those at harvard who deal with their endowment fund that's the target i want them to invest because if they invest it shows it's the best investment in the world. They are the best at it. No one's denying that. Um, okay, so that's that's the very important part. Now, each of these companies, let's just have a quick look up here. Okay, this is, these are the costs. Now we're getting into what it generates this part here this uh this two million there that is the only part that is from the public everything else which is 80 percent is guaranteed orders there's no way you could not win you can't m not make this money this is then in, it's got various equal e e um, equality systems one being that of the investment half of it needs to go to building infrastructure in malawi and another that half of the value of the bond uh sorry half of the value of the profit that the company makes and it makes a lot of profit because it's got a guaranteed tenders of 16 million dollars half of that goes to the staff that run the company and from there we start applying the uh the res equation very important the thing is you've got to be able to afford though that 16 million dollars times as many companies you have each year um, and we're going for 512 companies 
Um, okay, and now let's let's go into res. This is this is awesome. This is basically quantum economics. Why is it quantum economics? Because we're looking at the every single little penny spent by every single person, and we're making it so as we're trying to achieve a um, financial equivalency. Every single penny spent goes to another company or another staff member. That again. Okay, let's have a let's just let's look at it in practical terms. This is the uh, income for the window factory company. And remember, we said it's about 16, um, 16 million. So it's 16 million in guaranteed income, and we're saying, you know, chances are it's gonna for every one, for every five window it get it gets on a tender, it's gonna sell one. It should do more, but you know, it's it's. it's always best to really keep those variables to, 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 to very, 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 very safe numbers. Okay, we, even if it doesn't make any sales whatsoever, and this goes down to 16 income, it's still winning, it's just not making as much profit. Right, okay, so res is about spinning. Okay, so let's have a look. I've split the, um, I split the income into three. Per personnel, the staff, parts the suppliers pop and reinvestment and that's basically profit made which is reinvested which is all of it um this then splits let's go look at the personnel this splits 25 percent goes to m and b string family that's basically they uh, a staff member can nominate four people family and friends and another four people um from who used to work in agriculture but now the jobs aren't there because they've got a combine harvester that supports them uh 25 percent of the salary of the lowest paid worker is enough to provide more than the average salary in malawi for eight others and that's what this is but this is you see this here it's 50 the others are all about 90 apart from the bottom one which is 25 that's because uh, here we're, 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 there's a lot of food being uh, sold at, at cost price. Um, so that's, that's the 50 res, and that's tax 95. Now, whoa, how on earth are we supposed to expect a 5% tax rate? You're kidding. No, we're not kidding, because all of this, so much of this is full of people. Um, that's all for the people. Home building, that's building the people houses. All suppliers, that's... Anyway, the idea is so much... 75% uh, of the output is philanthropic or ecological or for the people. Therefore, it makes sense to only charge a 5% tax rate. And that's we call this the Trump equation. <laughs> uh, it was based on... I'm not even going to get into it. It's... it's uh, uh, you'll be pleased to know that the Res equation is dubbed the Clinton equation, and there is an Obama equation. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, so the tax is seven ninety-five. Now let's just have a. Besides that fact that it's for the people, therefore it's only fair that it should be that percentage. We also look at how. What does that do? This is specifically for tax. It creates that amount of tax. We'll see it's increased by that amount. That's da 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 Total tax 4.7 billion, whereas Malawi's current tax is 1.6 billion. So this just makes a lot of sense to just say, yeah, okay, let's let's go for this decreased 5% tax rate. That can be just to the network or it can be the whole country. Um, albeit if it is the whole country, that rest of Malawi figure would go down. Uh, anyway, this is for the politicians to work out, not me. I'm just doing the math. Okay, so there we go. We've got a 95%. So what we're doing is we're spinning. Let's let's use uh, let's let's spin the all suppliers, the biggest one, parts. So we start off with 13 million, and 90%. Of the companies that su supply this company are other companies in the network. That's the key. That's what res is. E, having that E, that E. 
uh, quantum economics. That's just just going down to the single penny, every single thing you can, you know. Normally, this is about 10%. We're now it's 90%. This has, since I started this in 2012, uh, this has now been sort of proved out by uh, Elon Musk and his company SpaceX that have a 90% E uh, for, for, for SpaceX, basically. And because they have, they're managing to do things a hell of a lot cheaper than anyone else. They, they, their staff are living in L.A., on an LA wage, you know, there's no, there's no shortcuts. It's just better business. Virgin Orbit, another good example. So there's no reason why you can't have a 90. You could say, well, it's difficult to build that up in a country like Malawi, but you've got four years to build. The first four years are about building the industry that builds these companies. So um, yes, it can. Um, second spin. Now, you've got to take the tax off and you start again. Second spin, all suppliers. Same thing, third spin, fourth spin, fifth spin. Basically what this is, it's basically saying every six weeks, spin one has to pay spin two. This spin two has to pay spin three, etc., etc., etc. So every six weeks, all the money has got to go from one to another. And it's all organized. This is it's not everyone's got to work that out for themselves. It's, it's done for everybody. They don't generally have much choice over a lot of uh, the, the important decisions. Um, it's, it's not for people to be, they, we, we're not looking for CEOs. It's, we're looking for good managers. Right, okay. Um, let's have a quick look at just have another quick look. Explain this. Okay, so this is the family spending. 25% of the personnel salary goes to family and friends and ex-farmers. Uh, month spending, that goes to the, uh, the individual. Home building, 50% is spent on building them their own house. And this, of course, creates a massive amount of orders for... Um, all supplies we we're working with a uh, made up window factory um, but it could be any any other supplier um, notice here land and assets why is that cheap why is that 25% because someone's buying land and assets off of somebody else who's not in the network 25% maybe I, it depends whether you can buy it with cash or buy it with network credits network credits basically one network credit equals one dollar for now up until it's reversed. I'll uh, get into that later. Okay, so what happens when you have all these spins? Okay. You basically increase the initial input, the R in the res, R, E, S, from whatever the figure is by 517%. So if it's 3 billion, I in the fourth year, four billion, but of that three billion is spent specifically on things that we can use res for, um, creates a total spending of 15 million. That basically means the GDP is increased by 15 million. Now, here's the trick. The um, uh, GDP of Malawi is currently only 5.5 billion. This is three times more and you would have to add the original GDP so give a little bit of inflation on that 25 billion it's going to go up to from 5.5 in a period of six years with people like yourself behind it and Harvard behind it and you know everybody who's clever behind it um, and the bottom Japan's the biggest GDP riser so far from 1950 to 1980. This increase in GDP for Malawi is at least 10 times faster than that. And it's been done in a calculated way, and we know how we did it. Okay, so that basically creates a frenzy of everybody in the world understanding that, shit, look at, look at the figures. The whole country is just 
getting bigger and bigger and everyone's going to start investing and at that point we kick in t- into a you know another 30 or so different locations doing much the same thing spread out over the next years up to 2032 but I'm not going to go there just yet. I'm going to carry on going with with res. Okay. Um, let's just note here. Here's the uh, that's the amount that the tenders cost. In fact, that's the amount the tenders cost plus the initial input. So it's actually less than that. That's interesting. That's interesting. Um, it's an error, but it's an error on our side. We make more money. There's more money left over, more to the point. Uh, I'll get back into that in a while. Okay, but the point of this that I was trying to make is that there all the tenders are covered and there's, and there's change. Okay, let's... What have we got here? 2015 revenue and bonds sold. Ah, okay, here is a very quick... Um, example of revenue that could be expected in 2025 having proved that uh, the GDP gain having the whole world's just seen Malawi go from nowhere to quadrupling its GDP in six years and they know it's due to this clever thing we're doing everyone wants to invest in what we're doing and don't worry we've got plenty of safeguards to stop a fiat currency crash of the US dollar as we are hedged to the dollar um, you'll actually find that plan at the end of your uh, email. Uh, quickly, we've got amounts of money that we could make and the probability. And that equals that. And just for the sake of being extremely cautious, we half that. That's, the, that's, a, that's, that's a fair, you know... It, the point of uh, a lot of the software that needs to be designed in the first two years is to put accuracies on this. No one's asking to invest anything until this has been really, really, really scenarioed out. Trillions and trillions of variables, la di da la di da la di da But I can assure you when we do, we'll have a higher income than two billion. But that's all we need. So... Um, the idea is to create a system that can be shown is easily not a Ponzi scheme. Why is that? Because a Ponzi scheme needs fresh investment. There is no fresh investment now. They, there will be. It's not going. I'm not going to stop taking money and spinning it. But we don't need it, so we're not including it. So here we go. We've just put in that two billion that's created from this. And what have we done this time? I've increased it. I think I've increased it by, yeah, look there. See, we've increased it by 1% there. The res is 1% higher there. There, 91, 91, 96, 91. And we've spun it two more times. There's now a 9 and a 10. And that has, again, paid for all the tenders. Slightly less than the year before. But that's to be expected. As long as all the tenders are covered, in fact, that's all the tenders and and change. As we worked out, that was an error. Okay, uh, these are the POP dimensions, which you can see in Angel Pop uh, or on a spreadsheet. It's just the way we calculate things. It's, everything's base eight, so it's one eight. Everything's times eight. It just makes it hell of a lot easier to calculate and it's all to do with the rounding error solution um, right okay spin 12 we're now spinning 12 times and we've increased these by 1% as we click into 2016 and what can we see now at the bottom we're increasing let's go to the next year spin 12 again and some more slight increases there we go we're up to sort of 93 and a 98 now let me just check this one is this the same year no it's not that's the year 
Right, okay, so we're up to... Ah, no, I'll tell you what we've done now. Sorry. Here we are. I'll be back 27. That's spin 12. What we're doing now is we're getting rid of all tax completely. This would be via a referendum, and by that time in 2027, 20, by 2027, there'll be the apparatus created for having a referendum. Um, and look at that. You take away the tax, and that increases from... 18, a GDP of 18 to a GDP of 28. And this can allow for government spending of 3 billion. Okay, let's, let's go another year. And now we've got government spending at 11 billion and we've got a GDP of 44 and at that point you know it's just going to go up and up and up in fact ah oh yes we've got a now, now what I've done <laughs> this is, it just gets bigger and bigger is I've ex, I've I've kept the rollover because obviously when you get to this point here at the end of the 24th spin there's still money there and that can roll over as an addition to um, to the initial input. So it's two two billion plus the rollover. And now where are we at? Fifty three GDP, fifteen billion for the government to spend. That's you know a lot more than they got at the moment. Plus. Let's not forget about this. All of this happens for free. All of this happens. It all happens. We've got the whole lot. Universal colonization, the lot. <laughs> right. Um, let me get back to... Yeah, okay. That's that. The first eight contacts. Right. Now, that's actually... I need to find that. It's... Uh, here we go. And the first person to be contacted was Priscilla Chang from Chang Zuckerberg. You are the second. I'm actually Professor Hawkins. No, Paul Allen will be next. And then Thomas Piketty would be next. Then we want to try. Professor Hawking, then the Obama Foundation, then either Bill Melinda Gates, Sir Richard Branson, or Elon Musk. And of course, at the end, back to the Chan Zuckerberg Foundation, this time focus on Mark, not uh, the foundation. Right, so there's also a whole second chapter to um book one and we can have a look at this is this is the this is about that chapter audacious project revenue let's just for the sake this basically works on the idea that the network is developed and it hit that uh 2024 GDP triples in Malawi. Everyone wants to invest. We make another 30 or 60, I don't know. Um, networks, 32 there. There we go. And we work out how much that would make, and then we reverse engineer it back to this figure here for a lead investor who would have 1.5 billion in equity and a 3.25% not investor, just equity holder, and notes uh, you've been offered a 3.25. That doesn't mean one's going to get $376 million. It means that their equity is worth that much. And that's after many, many splits for equality. Um, let 
this is the solar powering Malawi okay here we have the four free or data support the TBS the VSN VBN and the UCS it's all software they're sort of all the same system but they have definite parts and you can see these are my ideas for uh, who would be owning the chairs um, and over here we can see there's one two three four more big projects s world water s world power s world healthcare s world foods um okay let's get back where were we yeah we've covered that okay last of all um and let's just have a quick look at the uh this m systems graphic um last of all I'm in the process of making two new ETOE chapters. One of them is basically a continuation of relative equality, where in the case of a fiat currency dollar crash, it flips it round and suddenly everybody who's in the networks bails out America. Um, and you can see this as it's called uh, American Butterfly 2018. It's at the end of your email. Um, and there's another chapter, and that another chapter is just Res, uh, as, as we've seen. But as Res is writing itself throughout this, throughout the, throughout this creation of the ETOE, the, sorry, the GDP game, the third chapter, and the end of the first chapter, um, and I'm in no rush to write it. You know, it'd be nice to have your assistance to make it, you know, throw in some really clever stuff there. Right, okay. Um... Mm -mm. I think it's just going to go down to here. Reward. Yeah, so there's that 3.125 SOD. Yes, look, if you're more into tangible things that you can see, uh, I'll give it the same for S World Villa Secrets, uh, both Southern Africa and the USA, which is a huge plan. Huge. Here we can see the website. Very nice. And if we just click on the network, we can see the business plan. Very tangible, very simple. Well, I wouldn't actually call it simple. This is based on a 400 page book. It's just a summary, but it's, uh, it's a very, very solid plan that only gets all the more solid with the creation of these one, two, three super projects. Okay, that's, that's a wrap.